I'm Julia Pini this year. I used to work in advertising agency, but right now I'm a communications manager at Youthline. It's a non-profit organization for youth mental health. So it all began in August 2020 when I started experiencing physical symptoms of anxiety, so like chest tightness, heart palpitations. Uh, difficulty breathing, nausea, loss of appetite, insomnia, and so on. And that was when I realized that something is very wrong. And from there, things went downhill. And so I ended up quitting my job. And at that point, I was very lost and helpless because it was my first time experiencing all of this. And before that, I didn't even know that mental health illnesses, mental health conditions actually come with physical symptoms. It's only after I experienced it that I realized, oh my god, it's a holistic illness, it's not even just mental. Mental is one thing, but physical is the other thing. I also um, joined a group session, an OT group session, and that was where we did this exercise where we wrote haikus on hope. And it was really touching and really heartwarming to hear um, everyone's um, haikus on hope because we all had such different ideas on what hope is, what hope looks like um, and it's been a very empowering journey. So I gained a lot of new perspectives and mindsets about the recovery journey, um, about how it's a, it's a journey of self-discovery. It's a journey where you grow into a new and new self or a true self, you know, and it's about uh, it's almost like a metamorphosis, you know, of like going to the person they are meant to be and also to live more intentionally. We even talked about um, transitions um, during my hospitalization leave. So transition from um, being discharged to going back to work again. And so I did like another mind map about it as well. And the main thing that we talked about was to simulate my working environment. So kind of like um, basically being at my work desk with my work laptop, like doing different things that are more therapeutic or more calming. Uh, we even prepared like a um, weekly routine for going back to work. Yeah, where I actually planned out my morning routine and also having my work hours, but having um, different breaks during work hours. So it's more structured mm -hmm. and so that I can also um, um, incorporate all the different self-care practices into my daily routine. Yeah. Um, I realized with OT that oh okay like with each thing if, with each new thing maybe I don't feel like doing it but if I push myself to do it right it is okay. It ends up being okay. So occupational therapists often work um, with clients to look at what are some things that they could do to enhance and make sure that uh, you know, their routines and, just, and things that they enjoy doing um, are part of their life. Um, and so one of the things that we often do are uh, looking at how they're going to cope with their symptoms in order to continue doing the And so we help them to be able to go back to work, go back to things that they really like to do, despite still having some symptoms. But as, uh, as they go along doing the stuff that they, they do, they often find that they discover a new sense of self, integrating some of these new thoughts and new ideas and new activities into their life. Um, and that all together brings about recovery in mental illness. So, incredible care in occupational therapy is viewing the patient um, as a person. It includes um, looking at their interests, their values, what gives them meaning in life, and so that we can not just treat the illness, but we go beyond to improve their quality of life. I know it's been a really difficult time for you. There is always light in the darkness, and also um, that you are stronger than you know, and there is always hope as long as you don't give up on yourself. I want to let them know that they have made a huge difference in my life and I'm really, really thankful for them and that OT has been a lifesaver for me. So thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you so much for saving my life and thank you so much for being here.